Jackie Mkido is a Zimbabwean-born makeup artist and hairstylist based in the United States of America. She moved to the United States in 1995, attended her primary school in Blueweyo and secondary at Evenly High School. Mugiro is also the co-founder and owner of Vault Cosmetics and Vault Academy Makeup School in Arari, which she launched with her husband. She has done makeup for some of the Hollywood's top celebrities such as Neil, Snoop Lion, formerly known as Snoop Dogg, Sylvester Stallone, Wiz Khalifa, John Legend. So my passion came from insecurities. I used to feel very insecure about my complexion. I used to feel very insecure about everything about me because I grew up in a family where, you know, we, we didn't communicate about beauty and how you felt about beauty, you know. Um, you were just expected to know that you are a good person and I felt so insecure. And I decided what are the things that I can do to make myself feel great. And I decided to add color into my life. And that's where the passion came from. After arriving in the United States, Megiddo started working for a cosmetic company. It was her husband's idea to move to California where she did Hollywood makeup designery and a master's program in beauty and special effects. I'm Jackie Mugido from Makeup Designery. This is my model, Nikki Jane. The first thing that we're going to do is analyze her skin. One of the things that you will notice is Nikki is really dark around the lip area. She's got beautiful olive skin around her eye area. And what we're going to do is we're going to even out all the skin tone with our deep brown corrector. We're gonna mix YG3, YG2, and a little bit of our deep brown corrector. I'm gonna go ahead and make two piles, one with a little bit of the darker foundation, the YG3 and the YG2 mixed together, okay? Highlight areas, and this is YG2, little bit of the YG3. So this pile is for the areas that are a little bit darker, is for the areas that we're gonna highlight like under the eyes. This is going to help me even out the dark areas around her skin. This is the 800 brush. I'm going in all the areas that are darker and that would be around the nose area. So the reason why I love dark skin is because it's the most neglected and a lot of people don't understand. Like when something is so dark and you add color to it, that's when everything comes alive. So I want to bring that to life. I want the dark skinned woman to know that they just don't disappear. They come back to life when they add a little bit of color. This is why I'm so passionate about dark skin. Getting the bar. Mugiro got her first job working for free for Orlando Jones, who was her first celebrity client. And my pillar. I'll go on Facebook because I got a lot of followers and I go on my Instagram and I express myself and I be, I'm very honest with them like guys today's a hard day for me yeah. today I really feel like giving up and then all of a sudden somebody comes up with a story and says listen this is what's happened to me today I was wearing my lipstick and I felt like I could fly I could do anything wow. I got a promotion wow. And, wow. and then right there that's like amazing and then of course my husband my family my friends everybody I mean listen everybody's a pillar Zimbabwe. This is Jackie, founder of Vault Cosmetics, the first cosmetic company in Zimbabwe, and now we are branching out 
to Africa. And today we are at Pariah State. This is the place to be um, in Avondale. And we're really, really excited to introduce Delish who was the Big Brother winner for 2013. She is amazing. We are introducing her lip gloss and lipstick line called Delish by Bolt. And we're doing this amazing, oh my God, the photographer's here, I'm so excited. It's gonna be amazing. Pariah State is like, this place is so modern. There's nothing like this in Zimbabwe right now. And um, they've just been so kind to us to give us the space. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see behind the scenes. We've got jewelry, we've got the lipstick, we've got the lip gloss. It's going to be like really some really sexy stuff happening here. So come along. We're really excited. Mwah, mwah. I met Bolt was on Facebook they approached me and uh, they gave me this offer and of course I took it who would turn that down you know having your own lipstick with your name on it is pretty cool for a girl because as a child growing up I used to play with my mom's makeup and now I have my own stuff you know so yeah it's pretty cool and um, Jackie is great she lives in the States but she comes home very often so Zimbabwe is quite blessed to have such a, a determined lady and you know still remembers home so I think the two of us can gang up and have like a big line in Africa and maybe the world so yeah I'm looking forward to working more with them and the rest of the girls um, I'm loving Zimbabwe I'm loving Harare it's so clean what were people talking about anyways yeah this is Delish for Anna State we're doing the photo shoot Delish by Vault lipstick and lip gloss I have eight lips What is the difference between general makeup and makeup for TV? Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot different. Um, makeup for TV, you have to exaggerate it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And this is where I've been walking around town. I'm going, guys, guys, uh, Beyonce does not walk around like that. Okay? She's <laughs> on TV, she's on TV. She's street, she's The TV is a flat screen, so it yeah. doesn't have depth. Yeah. So we come in as makeup artists and put depth. And okay. this is why we exaggerate the lashes. We exaggerate the blush, we exaggerate the lips so that you can see depth because because all all you see on TV is width and height and you uh -huh. don't see depth. Okay. So we as makeup artists come in and put depth. Try and make the face 3D, so yes. to say. 100%. All right. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. Oh my God. So guys, uh -huh. I love this boy. Mm -hmm. Ja Fraser. Gooch, uh -oh. gooch. Ah! Yes, I am a groupie. <laughs> <laughs> groupie alert. <laughs> Means a lot to us, so thank you so much. Today has just been awesome. The weather, people came out tonight, the performers.
transform someone and bring the best of their everyday appearances that they have pretty much toned down or don't even understand what they have, that's a talent. You know, I, I look at women and I see their eyes, I see their lips, and sometimes those are the things that they're trying to hide. But when you can just pop that lip, um, that eye with a little bit of mascara, pop that lip with a little bit of color, and all of a sudden they become alive. They just come alive. And that, to me, is a talent. And a lot of people don't take that seriously. I am proud to be Zimbabwean, and I say it with pride, especially to my clients who are mostly celebrities. I remember doing makeup for Rumble, and one of the questions that he asked me was if Zimbabweans knew him. Well, I told him he was well known in Zimbabwe, and he was very much amazed. I see myself changing the face of Africa and putting our talented Zimbabwean artists on the map through popularity of my talent. That was a card from Jackie Ngido. Who's the most interesting person that ever put makeup on? The Zimbabwean woman. Um, I work with celebrities, but it's a Zimbabwean woman, because a Zimbabwean woman has challenged me. Yeah, because there's so many genres to the Zimbabwean woman. And there's people that like a lot of makeup, the people that don't like a lot of makeup. And being able to adjust to that, that's been the biggest challenge. She launched her line in 2012, but suffered major setbacks, even losing a staggering 60,000 in the first six months of the 100,000 that she and her husband had invested in the business. Vought Cosmetics is available in Zimbabwe cities and has branches in the US, UK, and now South Africa.
these women are wearing these amazing, beautiful lips. Wow, guys, how am I able to chunk? <laughs> Your product is good. Your product is good. Oh, the products are good. You guys can hear them talking. Yeah. Speaks for itself. Good customer. You know what? I I I don't know about charming them, but I just think that they want something good, and they just want to support a good brand. Advice for the new makeup artist: humble. Humble gets you a long way. Being willing. The willingness to learn and not think you got it within the first five years, within the first 10 years, and being able to look at yourself and realize that you have a lot to learn and you have to be humble. Once you tell yourself you're good, it's over. She now wanted to change the face of Africa and put Zimbabwean artists on the map through her popularity and talent by teaching about beauty, makeup and special effects. I see myself changing the face of Africa and really putting our talented Zimbabwean artists on the map through popularity of my talent in teaching about beauty, makeup and special effects. The makeup is designed to teach anyone to become a makeup artist and create jobs and for them to have a career. The future of Bold Cosmetics is very bright. Um, the goal is to get loads and loads of people to understand the brand, to see the brand, and to talk about the brand as brand that has changed the face of how women look at makeup from an education standpoint. So expansion, which we are doing right now, and also bringing so many cultures together, black, white, Latino, Asian, you name it. I want to be able to break that bar barrier. I don't want to be known as just the black brand. I want to be known as an everybody brand. A lot of people find it hard to believe mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. are from Zimbabwe. Dave. The accent, very, uh, very accent LA you. now. I'm from LA. You know, but I'm tired. You tired? What's on? Oh. Um, have you been? Of to course. Mutare? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I love Mutare. It's beautiful. Oh, so I'm tired. Take you. What's on? Oh. 